Hi, my name is Peter Huber. I'm the CEO of Zurich International and we are in our office here in uh, Douglas Business Park. Zurich International has been around for quite some time. Um, I think we've been here for more than 30 years. And um, it was, or it came to Zurich through an acquisition uh, back in 98 where we acquired among many other things, Eagle Star, and uh, that's how Zurich came to the island and ever since uh, we've been here and we have expanded throughout the world. We have branches in many different locations. I'll spare you all the details, but uh, we are quite global in that sense. And we do both uh, retail and corporate. We provide uh, insurance solutions um, on the retail side. There are savings plans as well as protection plans. And on the corporate side, we provide uh, group life, group pension uh, for multinational companies across the globe. So we're quite a big enterprise. Uh, we have overall at Zurich International throughout the locations about 900 people. Uh, out of them, 400 are based here in the Isle of Man and uh, the rest is uh, across the globe. Well, I would say why not, right? Uh, to start with, uh, the Isle of Man obviously has been a centre for international business for many, many years. I think you had a few companies establishing here quite some time ago, as I mentioned, Eagle Star, uh, that today is, is Zurich, um, used this as a base to go out and conquer the world. In many ways, um, um, we were following uh, British and other expats that, that needed to have uh, insurance solutions. And the Isle of Man provided a framework that was flexible enough for the needs of those customers. Um, and so over the years, this business has grown and that's, that's why we're here. I think we need to talk about change in the wider context, right? And I think the biggest drive of change are consumers. Um, we are in an era of unprecedented change where consumers today uh, are demanding different types of propositions and services. The, the era of uh, digitization, right, and having information at your, at your fingertip basically, yeah? you can go online and find out everything you want across the globe, just gives them a lot of power that uh, they didn't have before. While you could still go and find that information much, much more cumbersome. Uh, and, and it was difficult to get that level of, of information. Now consumers have regained, I would say, the power over, over what they buy or consume. And I think that's fine because ultimately we all are consumers and we want to be able to buy and consume what we want and in that fashion. So I think that's an important element. So that puts a lot higher bar on us as an insurer or any uh, manufacturer, producer of, of goods and services that the outcome that we deliver has to be in line with what the consumer expects. If you're not delivering, they can walk away, there's choice. And actually the choice again is at the fingertip. So I think that's the most important thing. That actually a quiet place, right? <laughs> and from that side, it's actually quite a nice place to come back here uh, after a hectic week when you've been traveling uh, uh, across the globe, because it's obviously, it's, it's pristine, it's, it's green, it's very clean and safe. And I think, um, I think work-life balance is, is quite, uh, quite easy here. The only thing that annoys me that everything closes at 6 p.m. in the evenings, right? That just drives me nuts. <laughs> I came here from uh, a year ago and I was uh, living out in Asia. I've been in Asia for eight years and everything there is 24-7. You arrive here and everything is a bit calmer. It's still an island, uh, but it's a bit calmer. <laughs> In a regulated business that we're in, and, and we have uh, entities from Hong Kong, Singapore, um, the UAE, Bahrain, Qatar, and on the other side uh, of the Atlantic uh, in Argentina, they all have different needs and, and expectations in what it comes to the outcome that they, that they desire. As such, Zurich uh, has for quite some time now followed a strict policy that we only operate through uh, regulated branches. 
So we are regulated by the Hong Kong Authority. Actually, in Hong Kong, we have two regulators. We have the SFC and the IA. Uh, in the UAE, we have the IA and so on and so forth. Um, and as such, we follow strict local regulations that come obviously with a set of, um, um, of, of rules and policies in order to protect their consumers. And um, we very much encourage and obviously follow those. Now, in addition, we have the Isle of Man regulator, right? And I think as such, the Isle of Man um, is an important regulator and has been very um, pro-business and, and, and forward-looking. And I think we would encourage for the regulator to stay like that and as such regulate uh, the things that they feel that, that require additional um, care. Um, the collaboration is good between us and, 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 uh, and the FSA and uh, I think we truly believe that what they're trying to do is in the best interest of, um, of, the, um, of the, the various stakeholders that are involved in such. But I think they always should do it in, in alignment with the business models that the companies follow and as such uh, understand that there are other regulators out there that are trying to do the same and I think some coordination is important and um, I think through the dialogue that we've had over the last, uh, well, ever since we've been here, but in particular over the last 12 to 18 months, I think that, that, that alignment is getting better. I think our global regulation is really Zurich policies that we have. I think we are global uh, in, uh, insurer, right? We are, we have, we are 55,000 employees. We are investment grade rated. Uh, we have a market capitalization of about 40 billion uh, US dollars. So we are actually a global player and as such we uh, follow kind of a global regulation in, in, through our internal standards that in many ways are higher uh, than what um, the, the various markets would have. Because again, on the continuum of regulations, right, you would see that on the one hand side probably you have Australia uh, the UK, Qatar, surprisingly enough, is very, very strong regulators with very high demands and have gone obviously miles ahead of the rest. And then you have the others, depending on market um, evolution and obviously maturity of the market. So as such, when you operate in such a wide spectrum of regulations, you need to find a ground of, of how you manage the company. And that ground for Zurich is our code of conduct. Uh, that sets a much higher uh, standard in many ways. Um, I think global regulations will be impossible as such from a regulatory perspective. I think even solvency, if you look at solvency to how long it has been taken to get it off the ground, um, some other jurisdictions are not following that. Uh, in Switzerland you have an additional standard because again Switzerland is another island by the way <laughs> within the European Union and, and, and again I think that will be difficult but I think we at Zurich follow our Zurich standards and one of the principles is to be in line with local regulations. <laughs>